Anybody else interested in writing about not starting a space force? Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, I did. Can I say I'm 65 years old and I've never written to anyone in the military? Yeah, he's the one who's spending oh, yeah. a lot of money on impeach Trump. Yes. This is what Fridays look like now. When you guys finish Rashida, I have an idea. For this group of Philadelphia women. It's the 3D printed guns. After President the... Trump's inauguration, a movement to form postcard groups popped so up across the country. I think that it started because people were devastated and didn't know what to do. It's a very connected neighborhood. And for these women, it's not the first time they felt compelled to get involved in politics. Well, you know, we're old gals. Many of us were activists during the civil rights time. I, I know that I grew up in Zimbabwe, which is now Zimbabwe, so that, you know, there was apartheid there. Oh, it's worse than ever before. I mean, to me, it seems worse. It seems like all the things that we fought for back in the 60s and 70s have been lost. This is a time that I think is very dangerous for the whole world because it's happening in a lot of places, not just here. They fill this hour writing to newsmakers and politicians who they feel deserve a few words. Sometimes we're urging action, sometimes we're thanking people. We are thanking him for announcing the policy of suspending discharges for immigrant oh. recruits. But the hope that the hundreds of postcards they send will be seen, or much less enact change, has evolved since they began. When we started, we wrote much longer, and we've realized over the course of the last year and a half that what we really need to do is just be very clear and make our point, because whoever, whatever intern is sorting mail, they're just going to put a check mark next to an issue. I think it's more cathartic than that we can actually achieve anything. The gatherings have become a fellowship, time dedicated each week to vent and discuss with one another. A worker in one of the facilities in Texas was arraigned for sexually abusing six children. And according to Margaret, he's HIV positive. Time especially coveted during particularly hard weeks. I mean, it was so wonderful to get together during the separation of families, because we were all very, very upset about that. Not only is it just cruel, but it's it doesn't seem to have any sensible purpose. And as they send off both their grievances and gratitude each week, there's something very satisfying about dumping this many postcards into the slot, you know. They say it's the community that keeps them coming back. I mean, I don't think I would have survived the Trump era without this community because it's so supportive and we are, we are very like-minded. <laughs> exciting. It's like, you know, disseminate. Go. Go to your people. <laughs>